Okay, here with Gary O'Keefe and Valley Gunner, we're going to do a launch and see what it brings. So, uh, yeah, Valley Gunner pitches Waterford. Uh, Valley Gunner pitches are, uh, GA pitches are on the final approach line to Waterford Airport, uh, about four kilometres away from the airport approximately. So, aircraft fly quite low over the pitches when coming into land. So, as with all of Waterford City, um, there's a no-fly zone for drones. So, uh, in advance, I sought air traffic control permission a few days in advance and uh, looked for maybe an hour of a window just because we weren't sure of the weather. As it turned out, it was a lovely day. But um, they asked me to trim it down just so that their private pilot guys could do some circuits. So we trimmed it back to about a half an hour of a window. So right now I'm on the phone there. I'm ringing air traffic control, just letting them know I'm about to launch. Uh, the previous day I would have done a lot of flight checks on the equipment, make sure everything is working, software and uh, firmware is all updated. Uh, got a checklist for all that, making sure batteries are fully charged, making sure the iPad is fully charged. So here I am talking to air traffic control now, letting them know I'm ab about to launch and they want a second phone also in case my phone doesn't work. And Gary has a second phone, he has it with him. And what happens here now, I'm going to go out a shot, what happens here is that they actually ring that second phone to make sure it's working and it is. And now I'm back and uh, everything is warmed up and ready. Rotors on. I make the announcement for rotors on. And uh, very shortly now we'll launch. I have it on the tabletop. I use the tabletop for my checklist pre-flight. And also it's handy uh, for the drone, just keep it away from loose stones that might fly, grass trimmings. Gary's helping me in terms of safety, keeping people back from me. If anybody approaches me, it's his job there to make sure they don't um, distract me. He's also been shown a safety procedure in terms of a button to press should I become disabled so that the drone will fly automatically back and land safely. So I'm just doing some tests there now, making sure that everything is working, um, checking all the flight controls are okay. And once I have that checked on, I'll look down at the screen, I'll check for making sure that everything on the screen is working, battery looks fine, everything is within limits, and off she goes. Mm -hmm.